Is the Biden administration targeting and harassing Trump supporters with federal law enforcement? Former Congresswoman and presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard alleges that she has been added to the Transportation Security Administration's Quiet Skies program, a covert terrorist watch list typically reserved for enemies of the United States. Gabbard, a former Hawaii representative and army veteran, contends that her inclusion on the list is politically motivated, coinciding with her recent criticism of Vice President Kamala Harris and her endorsement of former President Donald Trump. Gabbard, who served in Congress from 2013 to 2021, has recently gained attention for helping Trump prepare for an upcoming debate against Vice President Harris and publicly endorsing him for the 2024 presidential race. However, this effort has been complicated by new and unexpected travel hurdles. According to whistleblowers from the Federal Air Marshal Service, Gabbard has been targeted by the TSA's Quiet Skies program. This program is designed to monitor individuals deemed potential security risks on domestic flights. The whistleblowers revealed that Gabbard was subjected to heightened scrutiny, including the presence of multiple air marshals and explosive detection teams on her flights. This intense surveillance reportedly began soon after she criticized the Biden-Harris administration and denounced the military-industrial complex in a public interview. In a statement to the Honolulu Star advertiser, Gabbard accused the TSA of engaging in what she describes as political retaliation. She pointed to the timing of her placement on the Quiet Skies list, noting that it occurred shortly after a high-profile interview where she criticized Harris. Gabbard stated, It's no accident that I was placed on the Quiet Skies list the day after I did a primetime interview warning the American people about why Kamala Harris would be bad for our country if elected as President and Commander-in-Chief. The Quiet Skies program, while intended to protect passengers, has drawn criticism for its lack of transparency and potential for abuse. Gabbard and her husband, Abraham Williams, reportedly experienced this scrutiny firsthand during recent flights, where they encountered repeated secondary security screening procedures. Gabbard described the invasive searches they endured, saying, it happened every time I boarded. The allegations have prompted significant backlash from Gabbard's supporters and members of Congress. On August 8th, US Congressman Tim Burchett sent a letter to TSA Administrator David Pekoska demanding an explanation for Gabbard's placement on the watch list. Burchett wrote, I find this profoundly troubling for a number of reasons and requested a meeting to discuss the matter further. Additionally, several Hawaii State House Republicans voiced their concerns, urging the TSA to remove Gabbard from the watch list or provide transparency regarding the reasons for her inclusion. In a letter signed by four Republican representatives, they asked, how can your agency assume you have the power to put a congresswoman on your terrorist watch list and not explain yourself? The controversy surrounding Gabbard's case is part of a broader discussion about the alleged weaponization of federal agencies under the Biden-Harris administration. As the Daily Signal reported, the administration has been accused of using government powers to intimidate and silence political opponents. In this case, the use of the Quiet Skies program against Gabbard, a high-profile figure, raises concerns about potential abuses of power and the erosion of civil liberties. Gabbard, who continues to serve in the United States Army, expressed deep disappointment in the government she still proudly serves. She stated, The real pain this has caused is the stress of forever looking over my shoulder, wondering if and how I am being watched, what secret terror watch list I'm on, and having no transparency or due process. The TSA has yet to publicly comment on the specifics of Gabbard's claims. However, the agency has previously stated that the Quiet Skies program does not consider political affiliation when determining who is subject to increased surveillance. As this controversy continues to unfold, 
Gabbard's case may further ignite debates over the balance between national security and civil liberties, as well as the potential for abuse of power in politically charged environments. Gabbard has vowed to fight the designation and advocate for greater transparency and accountability within the TSA and other government agencies. Meanwhile, Gabbard reports she continues to assist President Trump in his prep for debate against Kamala Harris. To stay updated on the latest campaign news, subscribe to Breaking Through News on the Newsbreak app or at breakingthrough.com.